Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK. If you didn't know, you can actually check your WinLink messages and send WinLink messages over APRS using an APRS radio. Let's go ahead and jump over so I can show you guys exactly how this works. All right, so before we jump into how to check WinLink over APRS, I do want to show you guys another little hack here that uh, is super useful even if you're not using your radio to check WinLink messages. I'm going to go into my APRS settings, and I believe on this radio it's under basic settings. And maybe I'm wrong. Nope, there it is. Your status text is what you're looking for. I'm going to click into that, and you'll notice uh, right here. You see where I've got WinLink and AP Mail in my comment. Because I've done this, because I put the word WinLink in there, if I have a message pending on the WinLink servers, once I beacon with APRS and this text is in that beacon, the system will automatically reply to me and let me know that I have a pending WinLink message. Now, the other one, AP Mail over there, that's if you use the mail service on APRS. I've got another video about that. I'll link to that down in the description below. Now, let's go ahead and see if we can... Uh, check our WinLink messages on this radio. Now, I'm going to create a new message. Let me get that to stop. We're going to create a new message, and we're going to send that to WLNK-1. And then in the body of the message, you can put basically anything you want. All we're doing is establishing a connection, and it should respond to us with a password login. So let's go ahead and send that message and see if it will respond to us. All right, and there is our challenge for logging in. Now, let me show you guys exactly how this works. First, let's take a look at that again, and you'll see that our login challenge is 147. So let's look at the way that works. What, we're, what it's asking for is part of your password. Let me slide the radio out of the way, and I'm going to pull up this right here. So, if your password was password, you assign a number to each letter all the way down. And then in this case, we're looking for 1, 4, and 7. So that would be the P, that would be an S, and that would be an R. And then we can mix in three random numbers or three random letters. I guess, uh, honestly, I should say three characters. But we mix in three additional ones in our response. As long as you've got that one, four, and seven character in there, it doesn't matter which order you put those in. So let's go ahead and try that on the radio. I did mess this up earlier, and if you mess it up three times, it will lock you out of the system for a couple of hours. But let's see if I can respond to it and get mine correct this time. All right, so it looks like I did get logged in. I got a couple of messages back there, but it says, Hello, Cam4ACK, login valid for two hours. Now, in order to check your messages here, what you want to do is you want to reply to this one with the command L. So let's go ahead and send the command L and see if we have any pending messages. All right, taking a look at what come back to us, it does look like that we have a test message right here. Now, obviously, this is one I sent a little bit earlier, so it has something to show you guys on the video here. What you'll notice is it is message one, indicated right up here in the top left corner. So if we wanted to read that message, what we would do is we could go ahead and respond to this one and just send the command R space 1. Let's go ahead and give that a quick try real quick and see what we get back. So let's go ahead and try that R1 now by sending out that message. All right, so going into our messages, let's check that one. Uh, that looks like the second half of that message, maybe. Let's see what this is. Uh, Winlink test message reflector subject test message. So that's part of it, and this is part of it. And you can see that uh, the test message from the service 
a message and it says the following message was received by. So you kind of have to go back and piece those together in the correct order. It's uh, not quite as nice as reading it on your phone or on a computer, but it's really nice to be able to do this in a pinch. All right, so let's see if we can also send a quick message out. I'm just going to go into messages. I'm going to pick any one of the ones we've been playing with and just formulate a reply to that. And as you can see, I have in the body of the message, SP Sierra Papa. That initiates a new message. The next section over tells us who the message is going to. In this case, KF7 VUT. And then we've got a subject of hello. Let's go ahead and send that message out and give it just a second to respond. All right, so what you can see here is it says new message to KF7VUT at winlink.org. And then we send EX when we're complete. So I can compose an entire email. Now, granted, it's going to be slow with these keyboards on these HTs, but I can compose an entire email. And then once I'm done, I just send forward slash EX to complete that. Let me go ahead and try to get a quick one out here. So the body of my message is just going to say test message from APRS. We'll go ahead and send that. We'll give it just a second. I think we'll get an acknowledgement for that. There we go. And now we can go in and finish up that message. This, in this case, it's just going to be a one-line email, uh, which is probably all you're going to want to do when you're doing it from one of uh, these keyboards like this. So I'll just go in here, and the next message, we will simply put a forward slash, if I can find it, right there. And then we'll give it an E and an X. Once you've got that typed in, just go ahead and send that. And the system should reply and let you know that the message will be sent. So we saw that pop up right there real quick. Let's see if we can get back to that. Reply, and it says message to, or message sent to, kf7vut at winlink.org. So that completes sending that message through the Winlink system using APRS. One of the most helpful commands you can know, though, if you do decide to play with this, is to simply send the letter H or a question mark. That's basically help, and you will get a response back with more commands that you can use with the system. And as you can see here, you can also send back question mark plus the command for more information. So this is just a list of commands and then you can get more information by using that question mark uh, before the command as well. So basically, if you can get logged in and remember to send the H or the question mark to begin with, you should be able to get moving with this system. Now, I'll admit this is not something that I use very often, but it is handy from time to time. And just knowing how to do it might be beneficial one of these days. All right, guys, if you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.